Welcome to episode 40 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Stockport County. Let's start off with some comments. Now, people thought that I was being a little bit too critical on the goalkeeper Cavallaro. I will admit, if we go into the calendar, the uh, first game of last episode, the 1-1 draw against Watford, he did make some decent saves, but he keeps on making mistakes as well. And those mistakes will lead to trust issues. Trust issues that I simply don't have with your Ray Lopez. But I'm glad we can all agree that Finn Fuchs is terrible. Yes, I do think Pegararo will be a little bit better than Redenstrand in the long run. Redenstrand obviously having a fine run of form at the moment, but Pegararo is more agile and the finishing comes later later on. It's very unusual to get a player that's like top notch at finishing so young. That's why Obi Jackers was so special. Someone really didn't like me using the term slaphead for Turner. I mean, we have had nicknames for people that are tall, short, chunky, uh, you name it, they probably had a nickname. However, I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable while they're watching the series. So Jacob Turner right here, he's gonna use a beautiful bottle of hair growing cream or whatever it is. I think it's a scam. This is not a sponsor and we're gonna let it do its magic. Oh my god, what a difference. Absolutely incredible, Fuzzhead. I also had a comment criticizing all the strikers that we've got and that they're all not good enough for the championship. And to be honest, I might be siding with that by the end of this season. There has been a suggestion of a major overhaul up front, and I'm not completely against it. But I do feel like the boys that we've got here will turn good eventually. It's just a matter of when. I can be patient, but how long do we take it? This might be the last episode where we have a smaller number of games. I want to fit more games into each episode this season because I want my guys back. I am missing them, and I've already learned a lot from this championship season. Enough to know that not many of the Youth Academy players, the free agents that we signed up this year, worth keeping stockport against sunderland someone suggested in the comment section that when you do a power shot the time finishing resets i mean that's brilliant isn't it turner goes out wide here to socrates alvis got juicy john through the middle here we are against sunderland finish your dinner Okay, I was just about to berate him, but yes, time finishing was on through that exchange. There's James Turner with the press. He is a fantastic player, he's fuzzed. Can we select Bustamante? Not before the ball is played over Cavallaro, quick out of his net. I'll try and be more kind to him, but I simply don't know how to defend to get the best out of our goalkeeper. Embleton finds Gildes, Duda blocks off, corner kick. The number 17 bar will take, we got Bustamante being Switched, Kavalchik, oh, marvellous! I love automatic switching. <laughs> Jones for Sunderland after much Stockport pressure. Oh, great. Alves try and do an instant reply with that cross is straight into Patterson. It's Jones's first goal for Sunderland this season. He's a regen. That, that could be tasty. Pegararo wants the ball back, but Alves really didn't get it under control. Cavallaro crying his eyes out as his clean sheet bonus won't be activated this week. I've just seen Ornian Ornayan playing as a centre-back, and I'm pretty sure he's not a centre-back. He's a central midfielder. Go on, Red Zeppi! Charge into the box! Right to the goalkeeper, Patterson had to be brave as Red Zeppi tried to swing a leg at it. Cabasau will show Sirkin down the line. We have to defend another corner kick and I might actually take a leaf out the book of online play because I clearly can't defend them properly and to bring the goalkeeper out about six yards lovely ball there by Jang Sung Chan here comes Pegararo ball by Juicy John Pegararo does not miss that chance given to him and Stockport County deserve at least to be going in to the break with the parity we've got the parity so come on, Pegararo, Stockport Italiano, we go wild, wild, wild. His fifth goal in 12 matches, it's not a great return, is it? But he's not really getting much service, one shot, one goal. Jang Sung Chan, <laughs> try and hit it early, oh! You know, the finishing's all right today. Maybe I'm feeling it a little bit more, juicy, John with a lovely 
20-ish, 25-yarder XG of 0.05. Over the goalkeeping, shocking goalkeeping to be honest, but we'll keep that quiet, shall we? It's nothing more than we deserve, we've been better than Sunderland. Fuzzed gets a touch and it drops to Duda, which allows us to attack once again. Juicy John might have been offside, it was really meant for Pegoraro, but you see the speed of passing, certainly different from last episode. The downfall of Kowalczyk has been so shocking, I think the team will be significantly better once we change that position. Time will have to tell on that one. Right, Jang Sung Chan tries to clear. Dada Bustamante's gone in and got a sending off. For all the right reasons, I tried to block the shot. Cavallaro, it's time to make yourself a hero. Three minutes left. We're down to ten men and we're facing this penalty. I'm going to go to the right and we've saved it. Great call, Cavallaro. Magnificent, mate. Now we need to hold on. Do we bring the centre back on? Socrates needs to be smart about this. He was not smart about this. Ugh. Well done, Cavallaro. Now he's been big. He has been big this game. Our goalkeeper will come out a little bit and surely claim it. I am going to take as much time with this ball as possible. Get in. Stockport 2, Sunderland 1. Can it be the perfect episode? I'm feeling good with the shots that I produced. And Juicy John's goal was wonderful. Let's keep that going. Oh dear, we take a trip to Turf Moor next. This feels like a stink of a game. No Buster Mante suspended. Honestly, no complaints with uh, his actions at the end of that game. He just tried to swipe through the ball instead of the player to stop what looks like a certain goal. We'll play Gomez instead. Another player that, you know, we've signed up and might actually have a future at the club. Burnley against Stockport. Most of the board, it's quite rightly going to Fuzzed, Cabasau, because they have been significant additions. Gomez is just going about his business. He's definitely a better suited as a centre-back than Zubair, that's for sure. And maybe Zubair has the uh, Jang Sung Chan problem of being a very good in the midfield, but pretty terrible at centre-back. Uh, the only problem with that is that we can't really have another Jang Sung Chan in the midfield. We need to have someone technically more astute than that, whether it's uh, Fuzzed, Turner or Gallagher. They both can do a job. Well done, Jang Sung Chan! Keep a hold of him. Oh, brilliant pass to be honest by Franklin. Get up to top speed now. You have the room. Run! He is proper Calamo Flannery, yes. We're talking about young Calamo Flannery, by the way, that could do nothing but run. There has been a significant development on uh, Duda's behalf this season. Pegararo almost through. We are knocking at the door here, you know. Duda snatches away. He's like a silent assassin at the back. He creeps up on you and whips the ball out your feet like that. I feel it, man. After a season of pretty much dominating League One, Stingy Stockport has returned triumphantly. Half time, we're doing all right. Burnley haven't really us under any significant pressure. We're not crumbling. It is nil-nil. Socrates Alves. Great ball, really. Pegararo. It's going to go in and Red Zeppi's missed it. Red Zeppi's missed it. Oh, Eddie Johnson. Where are you, lad? The Silent Assassin is a, a very good nickname for our Vladdy's Lab dude. He's against a touch on there. The touch, not enough. And that's what you get for missing... An open net. What a shame for Vladislav Duda. The perfect episode disappears swiftly past the horizon line. Jang Sung Chan intercepts. Here we go. This has got to go in. Pegararo tries to get it across. Red and Strand. Still that Burnley defence is holding strong. Full time. Burnley 1. Stockport County 0. Senad Red Zeppi. He's going to lose a lot of sleep over that miss. 40 episodes in and we still haven't had an episode where we've won every single game. Pretty astonishing. We got the good news that Buster Mante has returned. It's Stockport against Luton Town. The defence were pretty good against Burnley. They scored off something that I couldn't really stop. I've just realised that they've got Jimmy Gallagher playing. Now, I know the loan rules have been changed a little bit, but I'm, I'm sure domestically, long players still can't play against their parent clubs. Jimmy Gallagher's running riot. We have created this monster. 
I think it's Luton Town's fourth corner kick. Uh, oh, he's trying to score a header. Where are they playing him? I don't even think they're playing him as a centre mid. This is Pegararo. That's a goal for Stockport. Against the run of play, our Italian is finding the back of the net this episode. Let's go. Close to Kowalczyk. He's made a block. Bless him. Yes. Goodbye, Kowalczyk. You know what? I'll give him a round of applause. Winners! Yes, Duda! Duda! The silent assassin charges forward. Oh, he's a bad pass, though. And he's not in position. Dada Bustamante can't mark two players. And it's stuff like that. The shot that slightly goes over the goalkeeper that I'm talking about. I believe Lopez saves that. I really do. Gallagher's like easily, easily the best loot and town player. He is everywhere. Very impressive stuff. Makes me more excited to see him return in the blue of Stockport. Anyway, we got Fuzz Ed for the moment. Socrates! Go on, play it back in. Senad! Socrates finding a way how to impact the game, which is always a good sign of a good player. He's won the ball back high, and he's got Pegororo! Who can't stop scoring this episode? So come on, Pegararo. Stop, but Daliano. We go wild, wild, wild. Gallagher trying to start off another Luton Town attack late in the day. Back heel. That's beating Bustamante. Cavallaro, what are you doing? Ah! Woodrow equalizes with moments to spare. Jimmy Gallagher's got the ball again. I am frightened. Duda. Honestly, lads, I don't know how many more examples you're going to need. I mean, he is a decent shot stopper. But then when you get to the basics, that Woodrow shot was not that difficult. He just needs to move his foot a little bit and he saves it. Okay, reactions have to be top notch, but that's what you're going to expect from a, a good goalkeeper. Giuseppe Pegararo wage demands. Oh, now that is a bit of a problem, isn't it? He submitted a transfer request. Of course he has. Oh, but we can offer him a deal. That's fine. He's not transfer listed anymore. I hope now that he's got this new contract at Stockport that the uh, performances stay at the same level. Be a shame if they began to dip again. Consistency up front is everything. Stockport County against Middlesbrough. Another five-man defense. Disgusting. Socrates trying to go long. By the way, I've accidentally excluded Red and Strand too much in this episode. It's because early on in the season, he, he went off an international duty. I had to change the team management on the main menu. Keep on forgetting to add into the substitutes bench. It is nothing personal. Just an accident on my behalf. It's a Pegararo turn that has ended up in the back of the net. Has the juicy John Pegararo combination finally come to life in this league? It has taken a little bit of time, but it looks very much like it has Pegararo with that newfound confidence. In comes Middlesbrough. Don't really have a control here on Dada Buster Man say, I mean, use your arms, goalkeeper. Enough, man. I am working so hard to get the goals here. And then we just get let down time and time again. I need a goalkeeper that gets me out of problems and doesn't put me in them. We're just sleepwalking this second half. It's like we've not come out of the traps. However, Red Zeppi trying to make things right. Juicy John, it's Pegararo on side. Flag goes up. Still a little bit more lively though. 10 minutes remain. Limbs about. Zubair getting through the lines. Pegararo. How wide here for Helder. Just needs to go inside. Juicy John. We yeah! see that. Jang Sung Chan sends us into limbs. Sends us into limbs. Stockport County have just won it at the death against Middlesbrough. It was the offside delivery into Pegararo. 10 minutes to go. They just sprang us back into life. Gave us the belief that we needed Jang. Made no mistake. He has just blasted that. The goalkeeper's diving as it hits the back of the net. The captain. Oh, the captain. He's, he's captain still. Right, that needs to be changed. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Team goes down 1 0. Comes back in the late stages. I don't believe it. Anyway, good on you, Jang Sung Chan. Love the limbs. Cavallaro grabs it. And that is the end of the match. Yes, mate. All right, that will be the end of the episode. You might have noticed that we didn't have a board objective today. We are looking for some uh, creative ideas 
in the Discord. So head over to our server and submit potential board objectives for the future. Let's just say Posh Cutsy was having a break in Tonga or something. Whilst he's doing that, Stockport have gone into 16th place in the championship with 24 points. How many points off the uh, playoffs are we? Cardiff have got 31. Luton Town with Jimmy G have risen all the way up to fifth. They were bottom when they received our midfielder. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications so you never miss an upload again. Big thanks to everybody on the right-hand side supporting me on Patreon. You guys are legends. Thank you ever so much for your continued support on the series. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.